Hey everyone, um, I wanted to give you a movement test with the um, Smithson half torso and uh, another mask. This is a uh, older mask. It's a Metamorphosis Clark, and as you can see, it does give you a very good um, silhouette when you're wearing your clothes and um, again feels very comfortable looks great nice definition on the back gives you a good Y shape um, I had originally taken pictures with the Studio 135 mask that had a very narrow um, bib and the double knit problem did not show up. This Metamorphosis mask has a slightly shorter bib and there is a slight possibility of the double knit problem coming in. Um, I can kind of feel it through the pockets here. Not bad, but um, I would suggest that um, um, that you probably wear something with a pattern in it. So if you do have a mask with a slightly wider but shorter bib, it will not show up. Um, what else? Um, as I mentioned before, it is very easy to put on and very comfortable to wear. Um, the neck was quite long, so I had to trim about an um, inch off of it. And um, sleeve length is great, fits perfectly. Um, one thing that I did find out the hard way is that the neck area and the wrist area um, is relatively thin. So when I took it off the second time, um, I managed to put my finger through the uh, silicone, but nothing that some uh, aquarium stealer and some power mesh didn't fix. Um, again, just be careful with it. Uh, overall, I think it's a great buy for the price. It's around $250, and it really does help avoid the South Park uh, issue that I had received a couple of times when uh, I was taking pictures or doing video that said that my head looked too big for my body. The, um, the torso really does even it out. Um, easy to put on, easy to take off, and uh, overall a great piece of kit. So um, two thumbs up for me on this, and uh, any questions, uh, please feel free to leave comments below in the video, and I'll respond to them as soon as I can. Thanks again, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.